James Bo Barkley. Yeah. The middle name is important. Well. Why? Uh, middle name is actually Beaumont. Yeah. But uh, decided for commercial reasons to cut it to, to Bo because James Beaumont Barkley, I don't know who he is. He's some old actor. James Barkley is, a, is an author. Um, James Bo Barkley is me on Google. So, uh, yeah, the reason for choosing my name is quite soulless and and commercial, really. You didn't want to out-Google any of them, just see if you could take over yeah, that front page. Yeah, I just wanted to go straight to being <laughs> at the top of Google, basically. Fair enough. Um, um, what's your style of music? What do you dabble in? So, I find that question really difficult, but recently I've been saying indie bedroom pop. Indie bedroom pop? Mainly because I make my music in my bedroom, <laughs> and it kind of gives you a little excuse for it maybe not being, like, pristine production you know so you say bedroom lo-fi oh, it's um, not meant to be listened to in the bedroom as well oh no it's not All like right. some kind of sensual thing. <laughs> <laughs> um no, it so, could yeah. be whale sounds when people yeah, are falling asleep it's right? bedroom music <laughs> <laughs> cool so um maybe a better question would be like who are your influences because obviously when people hear your music they yeah. can make up their own mind but like who do you see yourself as influenced by yeah well i guess uh the kind of background of my influences is like people who play guitar really well mm. uh, guitar playing songsters like George Benson Steve Ray Vaughan Gary Clark Jr and then like there's like John Mayer in there and more recently Tom Mesh and then like Robin Ford people who are like guitarists as well as singer songwriters you know um, and I guess more modern influences that I want to sound like would be people like Matt Corby Yellow Days uh, Rex Orange County that kind of uh, indie bedroomy vibe, <laughs> I guess. So quite a range of people, but people who you know are good at their instrument and have a unique sound, I guess. And is that who people who listen to your music also say you sound like? Uh, I don't actually know. I should probably like find out, do yeah. some kind of survey, because that would be interesting to know. Because it's very hard to define your own sound. Because in, in my head, I'm like, oh, I sound like no one. You know, yeah. I sound like me. But everyone, yeah, sounds like someone else. So, um, mm. how long have you been in the game, in the bedroom music game? <laughs> bedroom music game. Um, I guess you've got to put the word pop at the end of the bedroom because otherwise it does sound a bedroom bit weird. pop music <laughs> game. Um, well, I wrote my first song when I was 14. Yeah. I was playing guitar since I was very young, like nine, but didn't really fall in love with making music until I was like 14. I wrote a song and I was like, wow, this is really nice. So maybe about 10 years now, um, started kind of producing and releasing about five years ago. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, for a little while. So what's been the uh, milestones or highlights so far? Um, guess i played a couple cool gigs so I played at the 100 club supporting a indonesian pop star called neo namora which was quite strange because mm -hmm. there was indonesian tv there and right. loads of indonesian fans <laughs> nice. that was fun and then i headlined servant jazz quarters a couple of years ago um but yeah recently haven't been doing that many gigs focusing on more on more on the production kind of thing um another highlight was busking I used to bus quite a lot busking yeah. in paddington and will young came up to me All right. and said hey and i was like whoa will young he was like yeah um he was like i love your music can i have a cd and he bought one cd for 20 pounds that's really cool and he was like yeah we might be in touch he wasn't in touch but yeah, <laughs> still nice yeah, yeah, so, nice compliment for sure yeah um so let's talk about the production if that's your focus um yeah what you got on your track record so far uh eps albums, so yeah singles. released an ep couple years ago mm -hmm. with a record label called white bedroom records all right uh, it doesn't really exist anymore but was, was it also run out of a bedroom i think that was the idea yeah <laughs> i think it was like music made in bedrooms i didn't realize that connection actually the white bedroom records thing mm. um yeah that wasn't a that wasn't a great experience working with them if i'm honest but now i'm working independently and releasing a song every month this year that's the plan that's cool so uh have released two tracks so far third track coming out on friday and uh that's all on, on all the major platforms and stuff so what's in in kind of if you can give me some bullet points what's your process for 
creating and releasing a song if you do one mm. every month because that's quite a cool approach yeah i mean it's i'm learning what it is so at the moment uh but it would be you know trying to keep it to composition mm. so write the song what are the lyrics what's the structure and then uh building up different parts and trying to get all that set and then mixing it but i often kind of like mesh mixing and composition which is something that causes me to not get the deadlines because you're always adding new parts because yeah. uh, you want to get composition and then just do the mix yeah so sometimes i start with an instrumental and then put lyrics on top sometimes i have a song i've already written on guitar and then add instrumentation on top of that mm -hmm. so yeah and then once once finished i have like with the monthly things only a week of pre-song release promo which isn't really that long right but um send it to a few blogs um and then after i release it send it use submit submit hub have a bit of a budget every month to just send it to blogs and try and get it on some playlists and stuff like that so it's all very like it's like a week before i release a promo like a week after and then i'm on to the next song so i just kind of let it leave it at that which is not you know the done thing really you you promote for a long time but i just want to get songs out there at the moment is so. there a, is there a thing as to such as the done thing well there's <laughs> there's lots of people saying you should do this and that but so from your experience the way you work right now if we pretend uh, i'm a young up-and-coming artist and i'm looking for some advice what would you what's the key takeaways what you've learned in, mm. with your process that you would like to pass on yeah well i think in terms of producing good work whatever it is having a good deadline is is just it's kind of a boring advice but it's the most important thing ever like mm. if you don't have a deadline of some kind you will just continue to finish stuff without finishing it you know or go on forever and whether that deadline is working with a record label or working with or putting it out online and saying it's going to come out even when it's not finished this is what i've been doing recently like this song is coming out on this day and i'm like oh okay i need to <laughs> finish Keep it the then. Promise, yeah. so uh yeah i just say set deadlines and very very specific goals such as releasing a song a month for a year and goals that you can control not like i want to get a million plays you yeah. can't control that you know goals True. that you can control that's cool. Um, so where can people find out about your monthly songs? What's the go-to place so to get the updates? Probably Instagram is, is where most of it goes on. Yeah. I'm not super good on social media in general. All right. I just try and do what, what is needed. Uh, but yeah, Instagram and then just Spotify. They come out on Spotify every month. I'm always thinking about you, baby. I'm always thinking about you, baby. I'm always thinking about you, baby. I'm always thinking about you.